Hey, we found out last week that Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa is, is refurbishing their Miser's Lounge. And that's really exciting. This is a fan favorite place. A lot of people love to go here. It's much needed refurbishing, especially since they were going to expand it. But then a new story is hit today that is uh, shedding a little bit more light on this expansion. And it just might curl your nose hairs, kids. Stay tuned. We're not going anywhere. Well, hey, everybody, Park Hopper John from WDWParkHoppers.com. Thank you for stopping by. We've got a great news story we're going to talk about. Some people are going to love it. Some people, I think, are not. Uh, but that's not for me to decide. I'm just the one bringing you the information. I come to you from WDWParkHoppers.com. Please find us over there on our website. You can also hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you like what you see. We try to put these videos out every day to make sure that you are getting the latest and greatest up to the moment news about Walt Disney World. So today, a new story has hit the wires about Meisner's Lounge. Now, last week, we told you that Meisner's was being refurbished uh, and Commodore Porter's, the menswear store next to the lounge, would be closed for a lounge expansion. And that's awesome. But according to multiple sources, it appears that the space will be rethemed to the live-action 2017 version of Beauty and the Beast. And to that I say, what? So, uh, apparently, breaking news, Miser's Lounge and surrounding areas will be rethemed to the live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast. And it will stretch from the current locale through the men's store down the hall to the elevator. Uh, I don't think it's the elevator. I mean, I know they're talking about the, like the birdcage elevator. They're also talking to the grand staircase. So that's that's crazy to me. Uh, quick addendum, the library will have the plush couches and fireplace where uh, the current bar sits. Hopefully not so big as to block the band, which apparently they're still going to be in place. The ballroom will have a chandelier somehow. The woods will have the indoor-outdoor seating and around 140 seats total. Commodore Porters will be turned into the main bar space themed to a ballroom and a hallway and outdoor seating area themed to the woodsy environment shown in the film. So, yeah, I, I don't really know how to take this. This is very interesting news. Does this make you happy? Are you, are you Beauty and the Beast fans or... Uh, in my mind, I mean, I love the movie. I like the original uh, animated version better, of course, because I'm a Disney fan. But the thing about this that really bothers me is the Grand Floridian is a different resort at Disney. It's not the same as, you know, the um, the All-Star Resorts or even the, the, the Yacht and Beach Club. There's, there's a mystique around the, the Grand Floridian. There's an air of... Um, I wouldn't say superiority, but there's an air of uniqueness about this lounge, uh, about this, this resort and, and the way that this lounge is decked out. I'm sure that what they'll do, it'll be great, but I really just, I really feel like this is a bad idea. I, I just don't think that this is the right venue for this type of, uh, experience. Now I know that the Grand Floridian is not uh, the the most high end, most amazing resort on Disney property because the Four Seasons is is literally you can see the Four Seasons from the from the Grand Floridian. But but there's just something special about the Grand Flow, and and with the Grand Floridian Society Orchestra there, this just doesn't feel right to me. It feels like they're shoehorning in intellectual property into a venue that doesn't necessarily need this property in it. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, the newly reimagined Miser's Lounge is expected to open in fall of 2019. Uh, and we'll know pretty quick what's going to happen there. But we'll see. Disney has a great way of surprising me. I didn't necessarily think that I would like the um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves dining over at the Wilderness Lodge. But I do. I really love it. So who knows? I don't know. This just seems really weird to me. And, and I'm not necessarily one of these people who... Uh, is against change just for the sake of change. Uh, I'm against change that doesn't make sense. And I feel like this doesn't make sense to me. But that's that's just me. What do you guys think? Leave us a comment below. If you like this video, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you'll never miss a video that we put out. And then come find us over at wdwparkhoppers.com. Four parks, one world, and everything in between.